All right then, gang, so we've created a lot of different features in our Shinobi CSS library. Now, what I'd like to do is put this to the test by using it in some kind of homepage for a dummy website. So I've created a new homepage.html file right here, and it's just a head at the minute, and inside the head, we link up to the output CSS library right here. So this is all of the compiled SAS. And then down in the body, we're going to have different sections to this website. Now, I'm not going to write this entire website HTML out from scratch because that would take a long, long time. I'm sure you've got better things to do than watch me type out HTML. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste little sections from my GitHub repo, the course files, and paste them in and then walk you through each little bit. Okay, so I'm going to paste in the first section, first of all, which is the navbar, and we have a class of navbar on this nav. Now, we saw this in one of the previous lessons. We created a navbar component, which is over here, so we're using this navbar class right here. Now, we don't apply any kind of theme color to this, so it's going to be a white background. Now, inside that, we have a container to bring everything into a central column. Then we have the site title. And then this UL right here, this would be used as the navbar links. And notice this right here, I'm using one of these utility classes, display hyphen F. And that means that this is displayed as flex. If we go to the utilities uh, file over here, and we can see this display property inside our utilities map, we see all of the different values right here. So we're using this one, display hyphen F. So that's gonna display this as flex. And then inside we have two li tags, one for each link, and the li tags have a margin left of strength one, and then we say text hyphen hover secondary. So when you hover over these, it's gonna be that secondary color, which is green. If you take a look in the variables, the secondary color is this. Okay, so the anchor tags have no classes. They just go to hash work and hash about, which is gonna be the IDs of the different sections we create down here. To begin with, let's just preview this in the browser. So open with live server and we can see it right here. So we have our navbar, the title, and also these links, which when you hover over them, display green. All right then, so let's move on to the next section, which is gonna be the intro section. So again, let me just paste this in right here. And notice we have a div with a class of container. First of all, that brings everything together in that central column and margin top, which is a utility class again of strength five. So quite a lot of margin at the top. Then we're using the grid system right here because we have a class of row and we're justifying the content to the center using this justify center class that we created. All right, so inside here, we have two elements in the row. We have this one right here, which is a bit of text and this one down here, which is an image. Now, this one has these column classes, col-12-xs, which means on extra small screens and up, it's going to take up 12 columns of width. That's the full width of the row. And then when you get to medium size screens, take up five columns of width. And the column classes down here for the image are again, 12 for extra small screens and then five for medium. So exactly the same. And that means on medium sized screens, there are gonna be two columns left over. And because we have justify center up here, it's gonna put the content in the middle. We'll have one column left over on the left and one column left over on the right. All right, so in this div, we have an H2 and that inside has a div with a class of font hyphen XXL. So that's a really large font size and it just says black belt. Then another div, again, same font size and text secondary this time. So we get that green color. So it says black belt, your website. And then below that, a paragraph tag, text gray, bit of margin using these utility classes and then some text. And then below that we have an anchor tag and that links to the work section. And we have a few different utility classes right here. First of all, we give it the button outlined secondary class. And if we go to the button, that's this thing right here. And what it does is give it a border of the secondary color. And then we have the text secondary and text hover is white. So when we hover over this button, because the background is gonna go the secondary color, we color the text white. And then down here we have an image linking to an image folder and then a laptop SVG. Now that doesn't exist at the minute, but we are gonna put it in momentarily. Let's continue though with the HTML first of all. All right, so the next section is the about section and I'm gonna paste this in. We don't have a comment for that either. So let me add that as well right here. So this is the about section and it has the ID of about meaning 
when we click on this link, it's going to go to this section. All right, so we have a class of BG-secondary-light. So secondary is the green color, and light-9 means it's a very light green. We give it a bit of margin to the top, padding to the top, and padding at the bottom as well. Inside, we have a container to bring everything into a central column. Then we have an H2 with a class of margin bottom hyphen two, and inside there we say about Shinobi Designs, then a paragraph tag, and another paragraph tag with a bit of margin bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is save this so far and just look at these two sections we've just added. Remember, this image is not gonna show yet, but we can see everything else. So if I bring this back over here, we can see this is what it looks like so far. And that was really simple to create, right? We've not had to add any of our own custom CSS. We've just used those classes from our CSS library that we made using SAS. And it's looking pretty good. And the button, when we hover, goes green in the back and the text is white. Awesome. So let's carry on with this and then we'll add the image at the end. So the next section is going to be the work section. So let me just grab that from my repo. This is the largest section and if we scroll up we have a section tag with an id of work and some margin at the bottom then we have a container to bring everything into a central column then a title an h2 with some margin bottom to say some of our work then right here we have the grid system again so all of this now is the grid right here it has a class of row and we give it a gap of two so between each grid item we have those little gaps all right then so the first item right here has a class of col 12 xs and that means extra small screens 12 columns in width full width when you get to medium make it six columns when you get to large make it three and all the items right here they all have the same classes so on extra small screens they're all going to be stacked on top of each other on medium sized screens and up it's going to be two next to each other because six plus six is 12 and then on large screens and up they're all going to be next to each other because three times four is 12, right? So inside each one, we have a card component that we created. And each card, we strip away the padding because by default, they have a bit of padding. Inside, we say the card title, and we also give it some margin all the way around. We have an image, which we don't have yet over here. Again, we'll add the images later on. And then also a paragraph tag with some margin. That's the same for each different card, only a different title and a different image, all right? So we have four cards in this grid system. And then underneath the cards, we have another row right here. And we say justify center and give it some margin at the top. And inside, we only have one element and it doesn't even have a col class. And the reason we're using a row here is just so we can use justify center because this is an automatic flex item with it being inside this row. And when we use justify center, it's going to centralize whatever is inside it. So that means this button is going to sit in the middle. All right. So if we save this now and preview, we can see the grid over here. The images aren't there yet, but it's looking pretty good. And if we inspect this and go to a smaller size screen, we can see they go two abreast at medium screens and at small ones, they all sit on top of each other. Awesome. Okay, so let's carry on. Finally, we're gonna have a footer, which is very, very simple. Let me paste that in down here. Just a footer tag with a class of background gray, a light variation, some padding at the top and bottom, and margin at the top as well, a container, and then just a copyright bit of text. So if I save this again and preview, we're gonna see that footer at the bottom. And this is looking pretty good, right? All we need to do now is add in the images. So let's do that. So I'm gonna over here create an image folder because each one of the images is looking inside the image folder. And then I'm just gonna grab my images and place them in here. And all of these are gonna be on the lesson 19 branch of the course files repo. So we have food, Mario, Marmite, and notes, and that's for these things right here, these cards, they're all linking to one of those. And then the laptop is being linked to in the top section right here, okay, in the intro section. So now if we check this out in a browser, I'm gonna bring this across, we can see up here we have the laptop and down here all of those images. So how simple was that? I know I copied and pasted a lot in, but we've not had to write any of our own CSS and we've made a web page that looks pretty good here. 
and that's just using the CSS library that we've created using SAS. So that's pretty awesome, right?